chance to put right today what went wrong on Monday? Yeah, it was a little internal part in the gearbox so this selector shaft goes through and I think 50 pence would have bought the part in all fairness, but that's a TC for you. Unfortunately, you know, you've got to be in it to win it, and we win. Apart from that, then, everything's looking good today. You've set up, you're happy with the way everything's going? Yeah, the bike is absolutely yeah, flying, but I've got, I've got this trouble with my brakes, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. You know, I've just got to allow so much of a margin everywhere, you know, and I, I know if I had it 100%, I could go a lot quicker, but it's one of them things. I'll just go do my best and see what goes from here. Dave Molyneux changed the dashboard on the number one outfit in the 15 minutes that held this race on the start line and as a result he now gets away into the top of Bray Hill as his local rival Nick Crow starts the race 10 seconds behind him. 600 Honda engine sounding as strong as you like in there and no sign of missing a beat after all that excitement and drama on the line. Screwdrivers, spanners everywhere but look at that behind him. Crow is already catching up. That's a five second gap not a 10 second gap and again these two are still together as they go over the laugh bridge 17 miles into this race and it is clear that crow is on his way past molyneux and again it looks easy there's a difference in power so nick crow had a two second advantage over dave molyneux at glen helen it's now much more than that it's 10 seconds Klaffenbach was actually second john holden number seven was in third place and then it was dave molyneux phil dongworth and then steve norbury that was the order about 10 miles ago but it's all historical, of course. They're racing the boards. All they know about it is the boards that are held up around the course. This is number four coming towards us now. Klaffenbach, Crow, Holden. Klaffenbach goes down. Holden goes up. And we're looking down again from the helicopter as they begin the mountain climb. And look at the way that Nick Crow is just easing, easing away. And it's so, so easy, or it appears to be so easy. But will it go the distance? He must be thinking about that. The gap is now double what it was. So they're pulling away all the time. Well, that's Kate's Cottage. There's a little bit of a jump before you really see Greg Nibar. And there it was. And now he's heading down the hill with Dave Molyneux still tagging along behind. Molyneux let him, well, I don't suppose he let him catch up, but after he caught up, Dave Molyneux seems to have more or less stayed with him. And that's good work for Nick Crow. Very good work for Nick Crow and Dan Sale. A new lap record, 19 minutes and 24 seconds, 116.66 miles an hour, six seconds below Dave Molyneux's lap record as he leads the field into the third and final lap. This is tremendous stuff for Nick Crow. And that doesn't sound right. It isn't right. That's finished again. Lap two instead of lap one, but it's all over for Klaus Klaffenbach and Christian Faser. They've parked it at Union, and that is Nick Crow. That's Nick Crow as well. It's both of them, Nick Crow, and it's an engine problem for Nick Crow. And Nick Crow comes away with a lap record as a consolation prize in a classic three-wheel centenary TT.